this is Mrs. Rubright, and we're back with another homework review of Law of Cosines. We're using our free CUDA software worksheet, and we're going over number 10. So, um, on number 10, we are looking for the measure of angle C, and this is Law of Cosines. So, if we're looking for the measure of angle C right here, we can't actually find that right away. What we need to do, because with Law of Cosines, we always use a side angle side, where the angle is sandwiched between two sides. So right here, if we're using this angle B, we can find the side opposite it, side B. So in this example, we can solve for this, and then once we have that, then we can use a law of sines to find angle C. So law of cosines first. And with this, we always use these as your beginning and ending points. And what I mean by that is this. B squared equals 29 squared minus 24 squared, or sorry, plus 24 squared minus 2 times 29 times 24 cosine 101. So you always start out here. B squared equals 29 squared plus 24 squared minus 2 times 29 times 24 cosine 101. And it's always that pattern that you end up having to use. So in this problem, I just take the square root to solve for b. And at this point, I just pick up my calculator. I'm going to start here at cosine 101. So I'm going to do 101 cosine times 24 times 29 times 2 negative button equals. Now I have all of this. Plus 24 squared plus 29 squared equals, now I have everything under the radical, square root button, b equals 41.0195, so it's just going to be 41, and I'm going to store this in memory 1, so store 1, now it says m1, so I know I have something stored in, in memory 1, I'm writing on my screen, there we go, all right, so now, that I have B, I can use law of sines because the sine of 101 is to my B or my memory one as sine of C is to 24. Cross products and solve. 24 times sine 101 equals the memory one times sine C. Divide by memory one on both sides. And you have sine C equals all of that. Anytime you're solving for an unknown angle, you use the inverse. So the inverse sine of 24 sine 101 all over memory 1 equals our angle C. So now my calculator. 101 sine times 24 equals divided by recall 1 equals second sign because we never round until the very end so that's why I put this into storage instead of rounding it so angle C the measure of angle C is going to be approximately 35.1 degrees because the zero becomes a one because the five bounces it up and that is number 10 let's try another one number 16 so on this one, it says, to solve each triangle, round your answer to the nearest tenth. Solving the triangle just simply means to um, give any of the unknowns. We want to find out angle A, angle B, and angle C for this problem. We cannot use law of sines because we don't have a perfect pair anywhere. All right, so law of cosines is our only option. So let's try, I guess I'll go for C first, why not? So c squared equals, actually is it c squared equals? Nope. What's it supposed to be? 21.9 squared equals 10.4 squared plus 18 squared minus 2 times 10.4 times 18 cosine c. We don't know what the c is, right? So in order to do this, pick up my calculator. 29 point, sorry, 21.9 squared, subtract this out on both sides, minus 
10.4 squared equals minus 18 squared equals, this is gone, this is gone, divided by negative 2, divided by 10.4, divided by 18, second cosine to solve for the missing angle. Ninety three, I'm sorry, ninety seven, ninety seven point three degrees. Now, what we can do in order to um, find another side is we can use law of sines. Let's store this in one. All right, so the sine, and we can honestly, we can use a rounded um, degree for this. So sine of 97.3 degrees is to side 21.9 as, how about A? As sine of A is to 10.4, the side opposite it. Angle A goes with the side opposite it. Cross products and solve. 10.4 times sine 97.3 equals 21.9 times sine A. Divide by 21.9 on both sides. And then sine A equals all of that, so we take the inverse. And our A equals the inverse of all of that. So 97.3 sine times 10.4 equals, divided by 21.9 equals second sine. And angle A is 28.1 degrees. So our last angle, 180 minus 28.1 minus 97.3, our last angle will be 54.6 degrees. And those are our three unknown angle measurements. And then the last problem that you guys asked me to complete is number 20. So number 20, it just gives us the information. So I'm going to draw it. X, Y, Z does not need to be drawn to scale. Angle X is 138 degrees. Side Y is 15 inches. And side Z, across from angle Z, is 25 inches. And they want us to solve the triangle, which means find all of the missing components. So for this problem, we're going to use law of cosines first. X squared equals 25 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 25 times 15 cosine 138. Square root, square root, calculator. Okay, so 138 cosine times 15 times 25 times 2 negative button equals plus 15 squared plus 25 squared equals square root. And we get that x equals 37.5. So now in order to do this next problem, sine of 138 is to 37.5 as sine of, do you guys want to do y or z? y, y is to 15. 37.5 sine y equals 15 sine 138. Back out a little. Divide by 37.5 sine y equals 15 sine 138 all over 37.5. And then to get rid of this, you just have to do the inverse. The inverse sine of 15 sine 138 all over 37.5 equals y. So 138 sine times 15 equals, divided by 37.5 equals second sine. And I got that the measure of angle y is approximately 15.5 degrees. 15.5 degrees. And our last angle, 180 minus 138 
minus 15.5 leaves us with 26.5 degrees for our final answer. And these are the three pieces of information that we needed to find to solve for this triangle. And that is everything that you guys wanted to go over on the law of cosines homework. So I hope that this video is helpful. Thank you.